Good morning. It's day 44. We've had a light to medium rain all night. There will come a day where I'll be in a tent and have to break it down in the rain, fix breakfast, do all everything in the rain. Um, that day is not today. I'm starting out dry. I am hearing birds. And I don't... I don't remember hearing birds in the morning yet. That may be the first real sign of spring that I've seen yet. I just put an osprey rain cover on the Z-Pack backpack. I'm gonna stand back here. There might be some sort of disruption in the time-space continuum. Hmm, seems okay. All right, I'm setting off. Um, won't be doing a lot of videoing. Um, looks like it's gonna be raining most of the time. I've got I think about almost 12 miles to get to the alpaca farm. Just had a nice lunch here at the Chatfield shelter. The rain is just a drizzle right now. Um, it's kind of like medium most of the morning. So I've got um, a little less than five miles to go to get to town. I'm gonna pack this phone away again. Well, the rain has lit up, so I thought I'd pull the camera out. And I am in one of these tunnels, which are cool from time to time. My hands, they're not numb or anything, but they are cold. And um, the muscles in my hands are weak. They don't function very well when they're cold. This is the sound of all the generators on the grid turning at 3600 RPMs or 60 hertz, 60, ton, 60 spins per second. It's also the sound of wasted energy. Those power lines heat up and you lose a lot of the power you generate the longer those lines are. You can tell by the, the length of the insulators that keep the three phases of electricity apart. So each of those groups of lines is, is one phase of electricity, all coming from the same generator. They, they gotta keep them apart because they'll arc to each other. So the higher the voltage, the longer those insulators, the little V things up there have to, have to be. And I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing this is a, a 500,000 um, volt line, 500 kilovolts. Here's an old schoolhouse that's been preserved. And it's, uh, it's left open. And hikers can go in there and take shelter if they have to. And, uh, Linda Mood School, 1894. And uh, there was a sign back there saying there's some trail magic and food. I don't know if they leave any in there this time of year, but it's a good place to leave some because animals can't, can't get to it. All right. That's the old desks here. And there's a chalkboard still getting written on. And an old pot belly stove, stove right in the middle. Yeah, so there's a, there's a museum here. And it doesn't look like anything's open now, but I think, uh, 
I think the campus here, there's a, there's a whole campus that kind of demonstrates uh, sort of the old ways of, of doing things doing things around here. But this is my destination. Now, I think I'm only about three miles from my end point for today. It's like this creek crossing was just made. And how nice is this? And this sandstone is beautiful. This um, orangish colored sandstone. Oh, it's beautiful through here. Ooh, that interstate is noisy. I think I'll just get a photo. Hey, buddy. Hey, so enough about me. Um, I, I know I've been droning on for like an hour. Hey, wh where are you from? Ecuador. Ah, habla espanol? No, Quechua. Okay. I don't speak Quechua. Hey, you got a toothy grin, buddy. I like those pearly whites. Oh, come here. All right, just ran into Night Shift, <laughs> yeah, who popped out of the woods onto the blacktop. So I saw him go into a convenience store and track them down, and now we're having Mexican food. Yeah, an amazing <laughs> surprise, so happy. <laughs> Wrapping up day 44. 11.8 miles hiked from Partnership Shelter to here at the um, Alpaca Farm near At Atkinson, uh, which is pretty close to Interstate 81. I uh, had a good time talking to Night Shift. Uh, more on him, him tomorrow. So everyone have a wonderful evening.